think of college athletes in their majors, music is certainly not one of the first things that comes to mind. But for one centenary college basketball player, music is life. You can't do anything without music. It's everywhere. Brandon Campbell is a starter on the centenary basketball team, and he's pretty good. Earning an all-conference selection last year as a sophomore, but basketball isn't his first love. Music is. Music has been a part of my life longer than sports has. Campbell is kind of a musical genius. He plays numerous instruments, including the piano, the trombone, the violin. He's learning the guitar, and most recently, he picked up the accordion. I was like, yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna have to give me one, I'm gonna have to give me one. After being introduced to the new instrument last summer, it sounds more like he's been playing it his entire life, not just a couple of months. Yeah, he practices the national anthem on the accordion for five minutes, and it sounds like he's ready to go, so he can play about anything by ear. I mean, it's insane. My mom used to tell me all the time when I was younger, when I would cry, she just turned on music, and she said the music sued the savage beast. So from a very early age, it's just been a part of who I was and who I am today. After college, Campbell plans to give back and start an after-school program for kids to learn and get involved with music. Just continues to be, you know, a role model piece of our program. Campbell and the Gents host the SCAC tournament this weekend at the Gold Dome. Their first game set for Friday at 1 o'clock. And one other thing I want to pass along about this young man, he actually, and Coach Walsh was telling me this, he played at Adam's wedding. Is that right? So when your basketball coach says, hey, you know what, can you come play the piano at my wedding? You know you're pretty good. Yeah, that's amazing. I was trying to write down all the instruments, piano, trombone, violin, accordion, guitar. I, th all, I think that that's all of them? I think that's all of them that I named, but right. I think he named actually a couple more to me that that he played when he was younger, and he's like he he told me that his piano teacher when he was like five years old um, taught him for like a year and then said, okay, I'm done, I, I can't teach you anything else. <laughs> you know everything there is to know, right? The teacher's asking for lessons, oh, goodness. probably. Oh, that's, that's amazing. I wish I had an ounce of that. I have none of that, no musical inclination. So when I see someone like that, it's always amazing to me that it yeah. takes them no time at all to master something like that. Yes, the really gift. cool thing for me is, it, it, like you said, it's a gift, mm -hmm. and he's wanting to give back that yes. gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, he was talking about he didn't, doesn't want to see the music die in DeSoto Parish, no, is what he told beautiful. me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Great story, Tim. Good stuff. You